Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole from Chronicles of a Crafter. Welcome back to the channel. So today I um, wanted to show you, this is my larger master board. One of the other projects that I made just yesterday, actually, I think I made a master board um, for Malena's um, um, M Scrap Busters Challenge. This is a bigger sheet of that same uh, project that I made just to have some master board on hand and it's currently drying. I did a top coat of the Tim Holtz Collage Medium in Matte. So that's what this looks like. Here we go. And I used my Tim Holtz brushes that I recently got. Um, but this is a smaller piece that was left over from yesterday's project. This is masterboarded onto some wrapping paper, some gift wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. I have a whole roll of it so I can make masterboard for ever. Like, you know, I got 30 feet of it over there. So I'm just going to put this aside to dry and show you what I'm going to do with this piece of um, this leftover piece of the master board that I made yesterday so I am going to slide this into my mini guillotine here my Fiskars mini guillotine and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it down to about let's see about four inches okay so Let's just see something really quickly. I just want to see how much how much the entire piece is left over here. So where is that? Yeah, I think I have about let's try this. Whatever this is, then we'll cut that down. So let's see. Yeah, it's about four, a little a little uh, over four inches. So now we have that. All right, and I am going to make a couple of tags out of this. So my tags will go this way. And I am just going to cut it down at, let's see, two and a half, let's say. Yep, two and a half. All right, I'll cut this one down as well at two and a half. And what is this? Maybe one and a half. Yeah, this is just over almost one and three quarters. All right. So I'm just going to put that piece aside for now. Um, do the same thing with this one. I'm going to cut it down at two and a half. Maybe I'll cut this one at two and a quarter. And I will cut this one at two and a quarter. And let's see what we have left over probably two inches or just over two inches let me just straighten this up and then maybe we can get a full two inch tag out of it so there we go two inch tag all right so there's that um yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is another uh, Try It Thursday. So I hope you guys craft along with me and try this yourselves. So I have these uh, little gift cards. All different gift cards. It really doesn't matter what they are. Um, or it doesn't even matter how you do this. So what I've done was I've taken a gift card. Let's find one that's not cut. All right, and I just cut it at all different straight cuts to give me different angles so you can see like that's two different angles right there and um, yeah I just cut off different pieces to give me different angles all over the card and that helps me to make tags with even even angles on both sides. So let's say we do this one right here. Um, let's say we do this little tiny piece that really wasn't a full size tag, but um, I can still make it into a tag. It's not a big deal. And just by using the same angle on both sides, 
I was able to create that a perfectly even tag all right and this is actually not a bad size tag if I cut this down just a smidgen let's say um, let's just see how long this tag is it's a little over four inches if I cut it down to like maybe three and three quarters this is now a perfect size tag okay so just by cutting off your angles even really gives you the perspective of a um, a workable tag so again this is just scraps that I've had uh, on hand that I made this master board with and um, now we're just chopping it up so again you guys should be having a wonderful day I think it's Thursday when you see this video because I'm calling it twisted Thursday so I'm gonna cut this one on a wider angle okay and you just flip it over cut the exact same angle on the opposite side and making sure it's all straight and now you have that without a Sizzix or cutting machine or Cricut or anything you have a perfect tag with the same size angles on both sides all right um let me find my other t card that i use mostly this one is the one that i use the most that's why it's so dogged up it's beat up bad um but yeah i use i tend to use this this angle right here the most and now we have that and all we do is just punch some holes in it put an eyelet some loop through some some um, a ribbon or just some twine or what have you and you have a really great tag that you can use anywhere in your journal okay there's that so these are all different sizes I'm just going with it to come up with whatever so again if you watched my video yesterday I did Malena's um, M scrap busters challenge and made all of these awesome tickets from a masterboard collage which is what I showed you earlier I just had a full sheet of this fully um, collaged with I spritzed some ink all over it from some Tim Holtz inks which look like this you know the alcohol inks from Tim Holtz and um, I have my own spray bottle like that that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just spritzed that color all over it some of it I dropped on and I got this this is still a little it's not tacky wet it's just moist because I covered it with distress um, collage medium so last card here I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller yeah so from that um, that M scrap busters challenge I came up with all of these awesome tickets to put into my journaling stash and here I'll show you what they look like in case you have not seen that video and I'll also put a link for that video right up in here okay so you guys can go back and watch that if you want um, so these are all the tickets that I made just by collaging a master board you know and uh, yeah came up with all of these little guys right here so you like like that first class um, yeah and so yeah these are just a bunch of little tickets that I made I mean this is just layered paper just like you saw on this sheet right here it all came from the same thing and I just cut it all up after stamping it and you have plenty of stuff to play with once you um, once you do that so yeah anyway just wanted you to see that so let's go ahead and grab my 
uh, crocodile big bite and I'll put some grom uh, not grommets <laughs> some eyelets I'll put some eyelets in uh, these right here and now I have additional uh, ephemera to use in my journaling so I'm going to use my big 3 16 hole and I'm not going to worry too much about where I mean of course it's going to be centered okay so you want to get it somewhere centered along the top but I'm not going to worry about too much with the measurements on the back side of this so uh, let's see just about there and now we have that all right and you can pop an eyelet right in there and you're good to go so I'm just guesstimating my center okay not too shabby that one's a little off not a big deal I can even punch it just close to the other one my grommet um, grommets I keep saying grommets they're eyelets they're a little wide so um, it will fill in all of that blank space you just have to be a little bit more precise when you're looking for your center and this helps that I have these lines going across here so um, yeah you can take out your ruler and measure it perfectly if you like I'm just winging it because that's what junk journaling is all about it's all about you know just being on the fly making stuff junk journaling playing with paper it's just paper guys at the end of the day it's just paper all right so Because I have all of these really colorful things here, I'm gonna go with my colorful eyelets and just pop. Oh, jeez, can you believe this? I just opened this entire thing upside down. Like, what in the ever loving world did I just do? Ugh. Ugh. All right, this is gonna be a job for my girls. They just don't know it yet. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have them sort all of these by color anyway let's just do it so I'm gonna move my crocodile big bite over to the chomping side I'm gonna pop a little eyelet right in here and I'm not gonna put any backings on it because this is just you know it's just fine without it oh no what just happened okay got it all right Sorry about that. Let's try that again. I think my crop dial moved while I was chomping. All right. And now we have that. Okay. It's a little questionable. Let's find a different color. Uh, can't believe I did that, guys. Like, you know, it's not the end of the world, but at the same time, I wish I had not done that. I'm going to try another purple one because this has pink and purple. I'm sorry for shaking the camera. I am definitely working on a solution for that problem. It bothers me just as much as it bothers you. I spoke to my um, husband the other day and he said he's going to figure out a way to suspend my camera for me because it is quite annoying anything that I do on this desk affects the camera so yeah okay and so yeah he's gonna try to fix that so sorry about that okay last couple put a red one in that one and I'll probably put a couple of green ones in these so this is the one that I went too far over on one side yeah let me just adjust it okay so now I have a really wide circle and I'll show you that my 
eyelet covers up the entire thing. See that? You can't even tell that there's an extra space in there because I messed up and went too far to one side. So, And see? Perfect. It's perfectly central now because, yeah, I just made my hole a little bit wider. In this one, I should have put a backing on it. It would have helped a little bit, but um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, and I'm going to put a green one in this one as well. So these are just my fun little tickets that I can use. Um, my girls are going to be celebrating Easter this weekend. We're going to do a lot of... Um, we're going to do some egg hunts and whatnot, so these will be really cute to put on their Easter baskets and, um, you know, just give them something fun to play with afterwards. So there's that. Uh, let's get some ribbon to put through it. Uh, let me go grab some ribbon and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I have this little Happy Easter ribbons, three yards of ribbon with little cute carrots on there. That's super cute. This one has little llamas on there. And again, this is just some ribbon from my stash. So, let's do that and put some of this llama ribbon through there. And... This is what takes the most time sometimes. It's like <laughs> when you want things to go really quickly, sometimes it takes extra long. But um, here, I'm just gonna use my scissor as a pokey tool. And here is the back side of that tag. And here's the front side of the tag with the collage on there. So I'm just gonna tie this in a little bow or knot. If I can get it to. All right. So now I have that. I'm going to snip off the, the tips on a little angle. Okay. So there's that. All right. Um, let's see. I'll probably put the carrot on this one. I'm just now opening these for the first time. So again, they were already in my stash. I did not have to go out and buy this, even though that means I've had it for a year and I never opened tell anybody <laughs> yeah I don't know if these are still available at the Dollar Tree they may be now that it's Easter again but um, I had these for over a year and never really used it before so Now we have that. Good. And I'm just going to continue doing exactly the same thing. I like the, I thought it was more of a burlapy type of, but it's not. It's just, I don't know what this is. It's like some sort of, it looks burlapy, you know, with printed carrots on there, but it's just like a, a fabric y kind of. Uh, What's that word? Poly, whatever. <laughs> Polyurethane. I don't know. It's like a polyester type of fabric that really has no name type of thing. And it does not feel like ribbon or burlap, although it looks like burlap. So, all right. So, yeah, we're going to go out in the backyard and do an Easter egg hunt and have some fun. 
this weekend so that's gonna be awesome I like this one better than I do the llama for now but the llama may come into play later at a later date because I think my next project that I'm gonna work on my next really big project will be a summer journal so look out for that it'll be a mini series of step by step maybe I don't know a summer journal sounds like fun until it's all fun and games until somebody until somebody gets hurt right so yeah might be a little bit of an overachievement but we'll see all right guys yeah I just wanted to do this really quickly with the rest of this master board but there's one more thing I wanted to do before I end this video and that's give you a quick quick uh, look at my latest Dollar Tree haul just so you know you don't have to break the bank to make a journal all right journals can be made really inexpensively if you have a box of cereal that you're not that you're done with and gonna throw the box away don't throw away that box you can always use it um, so I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up at Dollar Tree because with that box of cereal that I mentioned you can wrap it in fabric and every box has a spine already built in sorry for shaking the camera every box has a spine built in you wrap that box with fabric and Dollar Tree has tons of fabric and now they have some newer fabrics that are out this is really really new like their summer collection is out this was in their front section the seasonal section and it's all about like seashore and um, seashells and beachy type of things and you know it's like you can decorate your entire house with just some beachy stuff from the Dollar Tree so these were all the, the ones that I picked up and some very nautical um, ropes and seashells you know I thought those were really cute this one was in their um, regular fabric section and or in their craft section and um, it's sort of like a peacock kind of feathery I'll open these up so you can see them just so you know here let me move my tag out of the way so and then these were some stripes that I saw in an unusual spot but it was still near the crafting section I thought these were really cute and I was like whoa when when did they get these you know I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a while or at least not to shop I I you know poked my head in went directly to the item I'm looking for and then left I didn't even you know look at anything new that they have coming out but this was in an unusual area of their um, crafting section and their fabrics are not bad quality guys like you can get this at Joann's and pay twice the amount for the same amount of fabric so these are measuring about I want to say 23 by by 20 let's see what they say 18 by 21 all right so you can wrap an entire cereal box in this fabric and make yourself a monochrome journal which I think I will do okay I love this this is really pretty so let's look at some of the beachy ones from this season again 18 by 21 that's almost a fat quarter all right sorry so there's that totally enough to wrap a journal in um, there's this one with the anchors and the ship um, wheel or steering wheel again 18 by 21 is plenty to wrap a journal 
This one I thought was really cute. It has seashells and seahorses on it. So. Anyway, guys, that's pretty... Oh, God, I'm so sorry for hitting the camera. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm just going to end this video right here, just showing you the rest of the fabrics that I have. And don't forget to make some really cool tags with your master board uh, cutouts. I didn't put a ribbon in this one. But, yeah, just scraps, guys. Malena has a great system where she gets us all together to do lots of things with our scraps via the M Scrap Busters Challenge. So, yeah, this is just scraps glued down to a sheet of wrapping paper, and you can make lots of things with it. All right, so don't forget my tickets that I made the other day. These are all things that you can play with in your journal, and, um, yeah, I'll put that video up above. But yeah, I hope you guys have a super crafty day. Don't forget to stay naturally curious. Do something fun. It's almost the weekend. We're almost out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, let's get ready for fun day Friday. And go do something fun, guys. Talk to you in the next one. Bye.